Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. We're doing one of these every single day in the month of June. So I hope that you have been enjoying them. We are wrapping up this month. We've only got one more, one more tomorrow morning and then we're done. And uh, that's a, a busy month, 30 tutorials in Photoshop, absolutely free. I hope that you've been encouraged uh, to go out and create your own uh, creative artwork. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be taking this picture of a library and this picture of someone underwater. We're gonna combine the two and make a surreal scene where it looks like someone is in a flooded library. This one might be a little bit longer than five minutes. I've tried to keep uh, most of these videos between five and 10 minutes. So if I go a little bit longer today, I hope that you'll forgive me there. Uh, if you are looking for more uh, in-depth tutorials, I do have a Gumroad account with very long Photoshop tutorials and uh, they include the PSDs and the stock images, but I'll put a link in the description below if you want some additional Photoshop training. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna combine these two elements. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this image right here into the library scene. I'm gonna make it slightly invisible so I can see where I want the model to go. And I think I want her to go about right there, somewhere right in there. Now we have to figure out where the surface of the water is gonna be. And I think in this scene, probably the best place to put it is right in this little dome up here. So I'm just gonna get a polygonal lasso tool um, or I could use a pen tool, but I'm just gonna use a, a quick way to select out this dome. And uh, that's gonna be where our surface of the water is. So this dome is pretty much just gonna leave the picture like that. And uh, what I'm gonna do is go to my uh, water layer and then hit the layer mask button. And now everything is masked in there uh, the way I want it to go, except the body is cut off. And so we need to fix that. So just make a, a white brush for your layer mask and just paint her back into the scene. Um, so something kind of like this. So now we can actually see her and she's inside of this library. Now, I don't want to mask, I, I don't want to you know, paint on the mask everywhere because if I do that, the surface of the water starts to get a little weird. It kind of goes into the books and uh, that's not what I want. But what I would do want is I want, um, I want the background, uh, the, the books, I want them to match this bluish color. And so I'm gonna to try to do a couple different things here. So first thing I want to do is go down to my library uh, layer book, uh, layer here, and then I want to do a levels adjustment on it. So make sure you do a levels adjustment on the library. And we're, what we're gonna to try to do is just make it a lot cooler. We want it to match that blue. Right now it's oranges and reds and warm tones. And uh, we want it to match this uh, red color or, or blue color. So let's go ahead and go uh, to your RGB and uh, let's first of all make it a little bit more um, low contrast here. So I'm just gonna bring my blacks in, I'm gonna bring my whites in, kind of like that, nice and low contrast. The, that's what underwater images usually are. They're usually very low contrast. Then I'm gonna go to my reds. Let's pull down some of the reds. That's gonna make it a little bit cooler. And then let's go to our blues and let's bring in some of our blues over here. Uh, and that's not bad, except we're getting a little bit too uh, purple here. So let's go to our greens and let's add a little bit of green in there as well. And a lot of this is just trial and error. It's just figuring out where uh, we want these things to go. So if I do blue here, Okay, so we're not quite getting where I want it to go, but something like that. All right, let's see how, how we did here. Okay, so playing with the levels adjustment, we got close, uh, but we didn't get exactly where we wanted to go, but I really just wanted to get as uh, close to that blue color as I could, and I think something like that looks okay. And we're not done with it, so you know this is not the last thing we're gonna do. Uh, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer on top of uh, the, uh, the books here. And then I'm going to just sample this color that's already in that water scene, that dark blue that we were trying to match. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a large brush and I'm just going to paint, uh, this color like on top of the, uh, library here. And so what that's going to do is it's going to, we're actually going to match the color perfectly this time, but I don't want to, I don't want to do like 100% opacity here because then you wouldn't see the books. I want, I want, I still want you to be able to see the books. There needs to be a texture in here. There needs to be detail. Uh, so we don't want to do it uh, too, too much where you can't see anything. Okay, so something kind of like that. 
and I can actually go up to my uh, water layer here and take my tones down just a little bit to make it match. Just taking my blacks out just to make it match a little bit better. That looks good like that. And then I'm gonna go up on top of everything else and uh, just grab some of these blue colors and I'm just gonna kind of paint over that surface of the water. Uh, you see how you, you see these like bubbles here that are that are uh, all around the model. Well, that's the surface of the water and uh, we don't want that. We don't want the surface of the water below the surface. That looks kind of weird. So I'm just kind of painting a little bit around here, just like that. And I would probably spend more time getting these little bubbles out to make it, make it look like the surface is not going below the surface, uh, but you get the idea here. So that's kind of what we got going on here. And then we can change that opacity a little bit. Uh, that's overall uh, what I wanted to accomplish. I've got I've got her in the scene and I've got uh, the uh, the background nice and blue. Now what we're going to do is make a loon layer on top of everything, change it the the uh, color to black, and then what we're going to do is change it to overlay, and or probably soft light. Let's do soft light. And then I'm going to paint some black down here on the bottom. What that's going to do is make it nice and dark here at the bottom because it's furthest away from the the light source, kind of like this. And then I'm going to get a white and start painting up here at the top. And since we have that soft light on, it's going to interact with the books here and also the model. And it's going to make it look like she is uh, submerged in here. And then the brightest part is going to be right here at the top. And the darkest part is going to be as you go further down into uh, the library here. Uh, you could also do like some shadows if you wanted to. So just take a black and very lightly just kind of like paint some black little streaks here. And it's going to look like it's kind of like the shadow. She's casting a shadow from the light above. I'm not going to spend too much time on that because that's a little bit more detailed. Uh, but overall, that's kind of what we want uh, to accomplish here. Now, I want to also include some bubbles to kind of overlay the scene. So I went on unsplash.com and got some other uh, pictures here. These are just pictures of water bubbles and uh, underwater scenes. So I want to take this one, for example. This has got some little bokeh in here and uh, bring it on top of this picture. You can even make it bigger if we want to. And we're going to play with some blend modes. Let's try screen. Screen's too bright. Let's try overlay, soft light. Or lighten. Let's try to lighten. And then what we'll do is I'll just mask out part of it. Okay. So we'll just mask out this part at the top. I just want some like little bokeh and little effects going on all in this scene right here. Okay. So especially down here at the bottom. All right. Then I'm going to get these bubbles right here. This is also taken off of Unsplash. I'm going to bring these right into the scene change these to screen blend mode and put them like right over top of the model. It's kind of like she's splashing. Uh, she splashed in or she's going up and she's got all these little bubbles trailing her. So something kind of like that. It actually would be more towards the surface, but I think I'm going to throw them down here anyway. And I don't want all of them. I just want a few of them. So I'm going to mask out some of those. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Last thing I'd really want to do is just uh, do some color grading. So let's go ahead and do some glows, some color grading, and then we'll call this one a finished project. So I'll do a group. You know what I do. I always make a group and put a layer inside of it and change that blend mode to color dodge. Love doing that. And I'll just get a nice little blue here. And I'm going to paint some blues like right on top of the the library right here. So it's like, it's really bright light. Like it's affecting all of these books and uh, it's just really like bright light coming down here. And as you get further down into the scene, there's not as much bright light because the light source is up here. So something kind of like that. We could actually move this to below the water so it doesn't make the water look too bright too. So something like that. Either way you want to try it. I think would be fine, but something kind of like that. Just that little glowing effect there. And then if you want to do a uh, color grade, uh, we can do a gradient map. Let's try a, let's try a brown to a light brown, 
change it to lighten. Tone that down just a little bit. Then let's do a brightness and contrast. Take my brightness down, but my contrast up. Okay. That's not bad, except we're starting to lose that detail in the... Um, we're starting to lose a little bit of detail in the uh, books below. So what I'm going to try to do here, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate that uh, library layer and put it right up here. And I'm going to change it to black and white. So Control, Shift, and U makes it black and white. Then I'm going to change that to overlay, kind of like that. But then I'm going to make sure I mask out, mask this out. Actually, I'm not going to mask it out. Let's try something else. I'm going to get a gray color here, like a little mid gray, and then I'm going to change it to overlay. And then I'm going to paint that mid gray, like right where the model was at, like that. Just where the model's at, because I don't want, and, and also at the water too, because you don't want all that, that dome coming through on top of the water. There we go. But you can see what that's done. That's that's added a lot more um, detail inside of this um, for all of these books because we were starting to lose it with our color grade. And uh, I'm probably going to tone that down just a little bit because I don't want it to be like super contrasty. Uh, but guys, that's that's pretty much all I got today. I, I think this is a uh, you know this is a good starting point. We would want to do more work to it. We'd want to work on some details. But that's basically the idea. If I wanted to combine these two images, let me kind of recap what we've done here. Uh, so we started off with our, our our library scene, and then we added the water up here with the model, and then uh, we made the library a little bit cooler in color, and then we painted some and then made a little bit of color adjustments here. And then after we did that, we started adding bubbles and uh, different uh, uh, you know, color overlays and uh, darkness and brightness and stuff like that. And uh, then we added some glows up here at the top. And then finally we did some color grading with some extra contrast at the top. Uh, so that that's how I would approach something like this. This is at least be my starting point. And uh, then I can make it more a little bit more believable by working on some more details. Uh, but guys, that's all I've got for today's tutorial. I hope that you are encouraged by this. Go out and get some pictures and combine them together and see what you can create and just uh, have fun with it, guys. But we got one more tutorial tomorrow morning. Hope to see you there. And uh, that'll wrap out our, um, our video series for the month of June. Guys, have a good one, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning.